Hello, I'm Amir and I'm going to present ENCODE Implicit Neural Conditioning with Prior Knowledge Embedding. For more information about our paper, please visit our website. Well, first of all, what is INOR or Implicit Neural Representation? The world around us is not discrete and we traditionally choose to represent real-world signals such as images or sound in a discrete manner. However, discrete representations have some drawbacks. They only contain a discrete amount of information regarding the signal and the volume of stored discrete data may be very large. So imagine we have a continuous function that accurately represents our desired signal. And how we can how can we find such a function? This is implicit in representations. The goal of INOR is to encode continuous target signal using a neural network. So we're gonna have a mapping function that maps from the n-dimensional space to the m. For example, for an image, we're gonna have a mapping function which is a neural network that maps x and y coordinates to its corresponding RGB values. Uh, however, INOR have some problems. It is proven that their tendency in ReLU-based MLPs is towards learning uh, low frequency information. So compared to discrete representations, they may fail to encode high frequency details. For example, in the image, we have blurry edges. In the point cloud, we miss some cur we miss curtains. And in the audio, we miss some frequencies. New methods have been proposed in order to solve this problem. Siren proposed a sign-based activation function. In other methods, uh, proposed a Gaussian based activation function and wire propose a new nonlinearity for INRs based on the continuous complex Gaber wavelet. What is the motivation of us in order to present ENCODE? <clears throat> we want to advance INRs. Uh, other methods may face limitations in capturing fine grained details, handling noise and adapting to diverse signal types, for example, for shape, for image, audio, or for example, uh, for inverse problems. And ENCODE aims to overcome challenges such as underutilized representation capacity, difficulty in handling noise, and scalability issues, with a focus on improving performance in inverse problems and signal representation tasks. We actually want to further the representation capacity of uh, other nonlinearities. And also, uh, the main motivation of us is to enhance, uh, is, uh, to enhance control of the sinusoidal based activation function in INRs, showcasing superior robustness, accuracy, and quality across diverse tasks. As I mentioned, we want to enhance the control of the sign based activation function in INRs using the prior knowledge which resulted in a faster and more accurate than other methods. <clears throat> ENCODE primarily consists of a dual component MLP structure with harmonizer and composer networks. The composer network uses a sinusoidal activation function for a spatial mapping. For example, for an image, it maps X and Y coordinates to its corresponding RGB values, while the harmonizer network attempts to dynamically adjust key parameters of the composer network activation function during learning process. So the harmonizing network is gonna produce four key parameters for the activation function of the composer network. Those values are A, B, C, D, are called A, B, C, D. And it generates such uh, key uh, parameters using a deep prior information that we're gonna provide using a task-specific pre-train model. It generates an embedding for the harmonizer network and harmonizer network maps the embedding to those uh, key parameters. So our activation function is a, multi, uh, is a modified sign-based activation function. A represents amplitude, B represents frequency scaling, C denotes phase shift, and D represents vertical shift. Amplitude or A is crucial for vertically scaling the sinusoidal wave and adjusted during learning to and it adjusted during learning to influence the activation function's strength. 
and optimally set for each task, balancing feature emphasis in representation and noise separation in denoising. B governs the frequency scaling of the sinusoidal wave, and its adaptive calibration during learning uh, accentuates details in representation and reduces high-frequency noise in denoising. And its careful selection enables quality regulation in capture features. Uh, changing phase shift during the learning process uh, leads us to displace the sinusoidal wave impacting a spatial arrangement in the generated representation. And the modification of C influences quality and fidelity of the resulting representation. For example, in denoising, shifting C can balance noise effects by altering the sinusoidal wave and d acts as a vertical shift in the activation function increasing d enhances overall brightness similar to intensifying light or color and it provides a mechanism for controlling baseline brightness within the inr framework uh, let's speak about the expressiveness of encode we have visualized the activation function of encode and siren, and also we provide the frequency response uh, of encode uh, versus siren across network layers. Higher amplitudes at higher frequencies in encode's first layer confirming enhanced mapping capabilities over siren and improve uh, representation capacity of encode. It has shown that it has much more representation capacity than uh, siren specifically uh, at uh, in uh, first layer as you can see in the frequency response that it tries to uh, intensify high frequency details and also harmonizer networks parameterization achieves broader frequency coverage retaining sensitivity to essential signal details Experiments In image representation, encode excels in image uh, encode excels other methods demonstrating significantly better representation quality compared to its counterparts. Encode's composer network maps 2D coordinates to RGB values, while the harmonizer network excels in translating latent codes, uh, codes into activation parameters. It excels in capturing intricate image details, even in complex patterns, colors, and high-frequency information. Encode surpasses a state-of-the-art methods in audio signal representation, achieving a significant reduction in error rates and an impressive increase in PSNR values. It effectively captures the period periodicity of, signal of audio signals across various time scales, converging rapidly to a distortion-minimized representation. Inco's exceptional ability to minimize background noise sets is apart from even siren as evidenced by audio quality. This is the audio of ground truth. Sorry. And this is the uh, audio of, uh, this is the result of encode. This is for siren. As you can see, there are some noise. And this is for relu. As you can see from the error rate, that the noise are much more intensified in relu plus positional uh, encoding approach. And this is for the Gauss-based activation function approach. As you can see, the error is much more highlighted than the uh, raw audio. Okay, in the shape presentation, encode proves to be a robust and advanced choice in occupancy tasks. It effectively leverages latent code to enhance the composer network's representation capacity, intensifying both high and low frequency information. Uh, Encode also demonstrates its effectiveness in image denoising, significantly improving image fidelity. We create the noise image, 
noisy image using real realistic sensor measurement incorporating readout and photon noise through independent Poisson random variables on each pixel. Encode adeptly preserves image details while reducing noise artifacts. This is a method, different methods versus noise values. Uh, experiments across different super resolution levels, uh, one time, two times, four times, and six times consistently show that input outperforms alternative methods in terms of PSNR and SSIM values. Encode excels in preserving sharper image details, setting it apart from other methods that often yield blurry results. Here, this is a result for four times single image super, super resolution. Encode excels in handling the challenges of sparse data by integrating deep prior information in situ reconstruction. It produces sharp and detailed reconstructions with a significant improvement in PSNR compared to alternative methods, even in cases with limited measurements. And we follow four steps. We use CT long image from Kaggle. We generate a sinogram according to the projection level using the Rodan transform. The models the model predicts a reconstructed CT image and we calculate the Rodan transform for the generated output and compute the loss function between these sinograms. Sinograms. <clears throat> in the context of single image in painting, Encode effectively tackles inverse problems even when only 20% of the pixels are sampled. The results demonstrate that Encode can perform on parallel or even better than baseline methods consistently producing sharper and more detailed in painting outcomes. And in the task of neural radiance fields, nerves, uh, original nerve leverage, INRs, and volume rendering via MLPs with ReLU plus positional encoding to represent scenes implicitly and synthesize novel views. In contrast, we explore the effectiveness of using encode without positional encoding in nerves, revealing superior results in, uh, achieved in fewer training epochs. Comparative analysis. You can see the convergence rate of uh, encode compared to other methods in audio occupancy and image representation tasks. As you can see that we have a much higher convergence rate than all other methods. And it shows that we can achieve a higher quality with fewer epochs. And also we compare uh, encode with other methods in terms of depths and widths of the network and it and, and these figures demonstrate that encode capacity to effectively capture more intricate information with increasing network size conclusion in conclusion uh, we propose encode which is a transformational approach to implicit representations it significantly enhances representation capacity and also it overcomes limitations inherent in existing INRs by uh, dynamically uh, adjusting key parameters of a sinusoidal based activation function with adaptive control. And also, uh, harmonizer network guided by deep prior knowledge dynamically adjusts uh, activation function parameters and enables the model to adapt to a specific data characteristics. And uh, through comprehensive experiments, uh, in, we have shown that ENCODE excels across a wide range of tasks showcasing superior performance in comparison to existing methods. Thank you very much for your attention.